Uh, this is Miss Keasley and Mrs. Irvy, and we're going to be doing a, a demonstration of a checkoff of uh, vital signs and physical assessment for you. I'm going to come into the room. Hi there. Hi. I'm just washing my hands. Um, I'm Miss Keasley. I'm going to be your student nurse from Temple College today. Um, can you tell me your name and your date of birth? Sylvia Williams, mm -hmm. uh, September 4th, 1946. Excellent. That's a match there, too. Um, do you have any allergies um, at all, Miss Williams? No, I don't. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, well, today um, I'm here because we're going to be doing um, some vital signs for you and um, also a physical assessment um, as well. Okay. Um, so uh, we'll do that, and um, then I'll be uh, getting that stuff documented as well. Okay. Um, so, first of all, we're going to start with vital signs, and I'm going to clean off my equipment here, too. Uh, while I'm doing this, um, are you having any pain at all right now? A little bit of pain, yes. A little bit? Okay. Um, on a scale of 0 to 10, um, 0 is no pain, and 10 is the most pain you can ever imagine. Um, what number would you say that it's at right now? Um, probably a 2. A 2, okay. And uh, where is that pain? Just in my neck, on the side of my neck. neck. Okay, alrighty. Um, and just so you know, too, um, I do have this door closed here for you, so um, give you some privacy and everything while we're going through uh, your vital signs and going through the physical assessment and everything. Okay. All right, last thing here. All right, all well, that's clean. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and start out with doing your blood pressure. Um, do you have any reasons why we can't use one arm or the other? That would be stuff like having a mastectomy or um, having a dialysis shunt or anything like that in either arm? No, I don't have Okay, that. sounds good. Um, and um, do you have a preference for which arm that we use? Um, we can just use the last one. one. Okay, that'll work. Um, so um, I'm just checking um, the arm with the blood pressure cuff that we have, um, just to make sure that we have the right size. I'm also going to check, um, feel for the brachial artery. Sorry, my hands are a little cold there. Um, and I can feel that brachial artery. We're going to line it up with where it says this um, artery uh, line on the blood pressure cuff itself. Thank you. Um, so we're going to do the two-step method, and you can just relax your arm here. Thank you very much. Um, so we'll do the two-step method, and so I'm just going to feel first for your uh, radial pulse. Okay, just feeling for where that goes away. Okay, it went away at 120. I'm just going to let this back down all the way out. Um, we're going to let your arm rest for about 30 seconds. Um, while it is resting, um, I'm actually going to um, go ahead and do a couple of other assessments um, here, too. Okay. And for checkoff, um, you can do some other things if you like, or um, you can go ahead and just verbalize that it's been 30 seconds um, of letting the arm rest. All right. Oxygen is 98%. Uh, That's good. I'm also going to check your pulse here, too. Just looking at the clock over here. So I counted um, 30 for your pulse. I'm going to um, times that by 2, so that means your pulse is 60. I'm going to take this off as well. All right. All right, so at this point, I'm going to listen uh, or uh, observe for her respirations as well. And um, typically, I would not let the patient know that I'm doing that so it doesn't change their breathing pattern. Um, but I'll just watch for the rise and fall there for 30 seconds.
Okay. And I counted um, seven during that 30 second period. And so calculated by two, um, her respirations are 14. So definitely been plenty of time resting the arms. I'm gonna go ahead and um, take a listen here. Okay, you're just gonna feel the squeeze in your arm. Gonna go slowly up. I'm gonna add 30 to what that number was, which was 120, so that means I go up to 150 here on the sphygmometer. Okay, your blood pressure was 112 uh, over 60. At this point too, if you would like, you are certainly welcome to write down your values on a piece of paper and try to keep track of them that way too. Um, or if you need that, you know, for getting the, the pulse and everything calculated, you're welcome to do that. And you can just state your, whatever values that you found um, to your faculty. All right, so I'm gonna check your temperature. If you can just put this like back of your, um, underneath your tongue, that'll be the sublingual pocket. Okay. All right, temperature is 98.1 and that is normal temperature. All right, so that concludes our vital signs um, part, and um, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, move on now to the physical assessment. Okay. Um, so, uh, first of all, I'm gonna start out with the head. Um, you already stated your name for me, um, so uh, that means patient is oriented um, to person. Uh, can you also tell me um, today's date? Uh, May the 18th mm -hmm. of 2023. Excellent. Okay. And um, what are we uh, here for? Um, the the physician is going to come evaluate me, mm -hmm. and he wanted you to eval evaluate me first. Okay. Sounds great. And uh, where are you at? I'm at Temple College Hospital. Excellent. Okay. Sounds good. Um, and um, since I've already been... Um, introducing you, visiting with the patient and everything. Um, I can tell that um, she is calm and pleasant. Um, she is cooperative, um, adult female, and um, she does appear her stated age, which she gave me with her date of birth. Um, she's well nourished, um, clothing appears clean, and um, she's well groomed. All right, so um, we're also going to just kind of do an inspection here of your eyes. So I'm going to use this pen light here, and um, I'm just going to put my hand right here in the middle just to block that spot, and then I'm going to shine this light in your eyes, and the other side, excellent, and people's do constrict. Um, I'm also going to have you follow this pen light here. All right, perfect. Um, so people's are equal, they're round, um, reactive to light, and um, they do accommodate. And um, they went from about a four um, to a three, and then back up to a four for the size. Um, oh, I'm gonna use the pen light again. Um, I'm also gonna shine this light up here in your nose too. Okay, I don't see any drainage or anything. Um, I'm also going to inspect in your ears as well. I'm gonna pull your hair to the side a little. All right, don't see any drainage there. Okay, no drainage either. And um, have you ever been told to wear hearing aids or um, do you wear hearing aids? No, I don't. Okay, sounds good. Um, and then um, I'm also gonna put some uh, gloves on um, here too to inspect um, the, the mouth. 
Um, and while I'm doing that, if you don't mind, just kind of pulling your eyelids down for me. Just like this? That's perfect, yes, thank you. Um, so the conjunctiva is pink and moist, and uh, the sclera as well, the white part, uh, that is white. Okay, again, I'm gonna use this pen light so I can see a little bit better um, in your mouth. And here I'm gonna be inspecting your gums, the oil mucosa, and um, the teeth. I'm just gonna use this pen light to kinda look at your, your gums, kinda push the tongue a little bit to the side. Okay, I'm gonna look on the top as well. Excellent. This is in the trash here. Um, so the teeth are white and straight. Um, they are um, proper in a proper position. Um, I didn't see any cavities or dentures or missing teeth or anything like that. Um, and the gums and the oral mucosa um, are also pink and moist. There's also no lesions or abnormalities with either of those. All right, so I'm also going to check for symmetry. So if you don't mind just holding your arms out and your legs. Thank you. All right, so arms and legs are symmetrical. Can you smile? All right, and smile is symmetrical as well. Um, so overall, um, symmetry of the body um, is uh, bilaterally symmetrical. Um, I'm also going to look at your skin here, too. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to feel your skin. Uh, skin is warm and dry. I'm just inspecting uh, overall skin here. And uh, so skin is warm and dry, um, no lesions or abnormalities, not seen any uh, bruises or um, anything like that. And the skin tone does appear uh, appropriate for the ethnicity. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, move on here to the, the chest. So um, here we're going to listen to your, um, your heart sounds first and then also your lung sounds too. Okay. And at this point, I'll just kind of have you turn your head a little bit to the side, okay. um, and just so not you know breathing in each other's face, and kind of pull that gown down. Oh, thank you. Um, so for check off for you, um, you'll also have this gown too, and um, you'll just have your patient, your classmate, uh, kind of pull that gown down, and then we're going to simulate that um, this these clothes that she has on um, are the actual patient's skin. Okay, so first I'm going to listen for your aortic valve, and that's at the second intercostal space to the right of the sternal border. It's going to move right across the way here. This is for the pulmonic valve. Again, the second intercostal space, but this means to the left of the sternal border. And next, um, we're going to do the tricuspid. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to go to uh, kind of directly down, but about to the fourth intercostal space. Okay, and then the last one, I'm going to go over just a bit here. This is for the mitral valve, and um, this is at the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. Okay, and um, at this spot as well, um, we can actually listen, uh, we, we would listen for a full minute for the apical pulse. Um, it's also the point of maximal intensity as well. And then we'll go ahead and move on to listening to your lung sounds. Okay. Just every time I put my stethoscope on, just kind of breathe um, in and out. Um, I will listen for a full inhalation and exhalation um, at each spot here. Okay, making sure to avoid any bone. Going to listen to four pairs on the anterior. Yeah, and then if you could pull your uh, breast kind of to the side there some. Thank you. Okay, this is for that third spot. Okay, there we go. And then kind of underneath the breast here. Thank you. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to listen for one pair on the lateral. Okay, right underneath the, the axillary line. 
It's kind of about where the bra strap is too for females. Okay, always comparing one side to the other. Okay, and now I'm gonna listen for your posterior lung sounds. Um, four pairs in the back. Again, avoiding any bone. Should avoid the spine here. And the fourth one. All right, and lung sounds are clear. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and um, go to the abdomen next. If you don't, don't mind just pulling that gown up there so I can inspect and uh, I don't see any ostomies or feeding tubes, uh, no scars, um, and the contour um, is flat and rounded. And um, if you don't mind just pointing out uh, where your umbilicus, yes, thank you, or your belly button is, thank you. All right, so I'm going to start just kind of following the path of the intestines, and I'm going to start with the right lower quadrant. Okay. Move up for the right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, and left lower quadrant. Okay, listening for those um, gurgles um, and everything, those sounds there, and uh, the vowel sounds are uh, normoactive. Uh, they're present in all four quadrants. Um, if I wasn't hearing anything at that point, um, I would listen for um, up to five minutes um, in each quadrant though. Um, while we're here, um, have you, uh, when was your last uh, bowel movement? Um, yesterday okay. <clears throat> afternoon. Perfect, okay. Um, was it normal or was there any blood or tarry stool pain or anything like that? No, it seemed very normal. Perfect, okay. Um, as far as urinating, when was the last time you urinated? Um, about a half an hour ago. Okay, sounds good. And was that normal as well? Uh, what kind of color was it? Um, kind of a light yellow. Okay, sounds mm -hmm. good. No pain or blood with that either, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Uh, well, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on here to your upper extremities. And so if you can just kind of hold your hands out a little bit for me, I'm going to check for capillary refill and um, just kind of pressing down here on the fingernails and uh, making sure uh, that does return within um, three seconds uh, bilaterally. And check your radial pulses here too. All right, uh, radial pulses are bilaterally um, strong and um, they're equal. And then if you can just kind of grip my hands here for me. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And uh, that is strong um, and equal. And then go ahead and like push against my hands. Thank you. And now kind of pull against me. Perfect. Okay. So uh, the push and pull test is also uh, strong and equal bilaterally. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to put some gloves on for checking the lower legs here. And uh, Ms. Williams, do you have any um, numbness, any tingling, either in your arms, your legs, just anywhere in your body? No. Okay, perfect. Uh, so I'm going to do similar stuff down here with your legs too. I'm just checking your circulation. Okay. okay. And um, I'm also going to check for um, edema too. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to press kind of on where the, the tibia is and um, there's no edema. So that's a zero. I'm going to check over on this one too. Thank you. All right, and that's also a zero, so bilaterally, uh, no edema, a zero on uh, both legs. I'm also going to feel for the pulses. And these are the pedal pulses. Okay, and those are also uh, bilaterally strong and equal. 
and I'm going to check for capillary refill. Um, so um, in your case, um, since you do have some lovely nail polish here, thank you. uh, thank, you're welcome. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of press um, along the, the pads of the toes here. And you can just kind of see um, how it's pink and then turns white and then goes back again. And so we can see that her capillary refill um, is strong. It's within three seconds there. I'm going to go ahead and check over here too. And this is all the same. So uh, her capillary refill um, in the feet um, is less than three seconds. Okay, let's kind of pull your feet up against me. Perfect. And then push down like you're on the gas pedal. Perfect. All right. So uh, the push and pull in the feet as well um, is strong and um, it's equal bilaterally. All right. So uh, that just about concludes the uh, vital signs and the physical assessment. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and clean off all my equipment. You can go ahead and put your shoes back on if you would like to. Um, and then once I'm done cleaning effort off everything, um, I'll just be documenting that information in your chart for you too. Okay, just cleaning off all the equipment that we used. And we'll have these alcohol swabs available for you for check off. Do you have any other questions or anything that I can do for you too before I leave? So let me see. All right, sounds good. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hands here. And um, again, just let us know if you need anything. Um, we do have your um, call light right over here. So um, if you need us for anything, um, just press that red button there on the call light. And um, I do have, um, didn't have to, you know, raise up the bed or anything like that. So you're good just to stay here in the chair. Okay. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys.